Hey everybody, Pastor Josh Andrews here. I wanted to come on uh, YouTube and, and tell you it's been 10 days now since my mom passed away. And um, it is getting better. The emotions are getting better. The, the grief is getting better. Uh, do I miss her tremendously? Yes, I do. But the hurt is, is not there anymore. And I contribute that to uh, my faith in Christ, to all the comfort I receive from my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, from all my, my churches, my congregates, letters, um, just looking at all of these uh, heartfelt condolences that I received at my house, and my dad has received so much support, uh, all of my family has. It's been great. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very humbling experience to have someone so close like a mother pass away and and uh, you're you're at the the forefront of, of of the grief it's it's um it's hard to put into words uh, everyone's love and compassion and and joy uh celebrating her life with you but also sad that she's no longer physically present with us um we we are in still in a grieving uh process but it's it's not as hard now as I thought it would be. Um, I, I celebrate her life. I, I remember without crying. I remember without having to pause my words and, and recover from being choked up. It's it's not that way anymore. At least right now, um, it may it may get back to that in, in the near future where where may maybe more reality will will sink in. But I know because of my faith in Jesus Christ and the hope we have that is everlasting, that is eternal, that I know that this is not the end uh, for my mother or for anyone who has faith in Jesus. Uh, death is just a sidestep. It's a temporary uh, passing from this existence that we know into the eternity that we inherit. We inherit that because of Jesus Christ. We inherit that because we place our faith in him. We inherit that because it's a gift of God. Um, I'm so thankful for the mercy that we have from God, from the comfort that he gives us through our fellow brothers and sisters. It's absolutely amazing. It's overwhelming. I don't understand it. It's a mystery. And I don't think we have to understand everything. You now, John Wesley always talked about being comfortable with mystery. It's, it's not something we always have to figure out. It's not the Western mindset that always has to be scientific to figure out everything. It's, it's part of life. It's part of the spiritual realm that we just don't get, but we receive comfort from. So thank you for your continued prayers. I ask that you continue to pray for us and all who are dying, all who are sick, and all who lost someone so dear to their hearts. You know, last Sunday, I talked about how we always must continue to preach the gospel of Christ. Uh, no matter where you're at in your life, whether you're celebrating something, whether you are grieving something, whether you have a, a positive event in your life or even a negative event in your life, we must always continue to preach the gospel message. Um, the legacy that my mom had and delivered not only to myself but my sister and I inherited that legacy I inherited inherited her way of preaching the gospel message through the smiles through the hugs through the demonstrative um, characteristics that she always displayed her faith was passed down to me my grandmother, who's still alive, my mother's mother, she's still alive, 91 years old, and her faith was passed down to my mother, and, and it continues to work into my life. And my daughter is demonstrating that same faith in Jesus Christ, the same smiles that, that my mom um, had on a daily basis. My daughter is uh, mimicking those smiles, and she doesn't even know she's doing it. So I can see my mom and my daughter, I can see her faith at work constantly, always praying to God, to looking at what is to come in the future. Even though it's uncertain, we always have the certainty of hope in Jesus Christ. So never ever stop talking about Jesus. Never stop 
witnessing, never stop preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ because that is the hope. And the hope is Christ living in you. So many blessings to you all. I, I love you guys. I want you to know that you know that you know that Jesus is your Savior. And, and uh, I know it's very simplistic, but just pray the prayer. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I need to know that I know that if I die today, I will go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. Uh, let me trust in you and help me trust in you. Increase my faith more and more every day. And I thank you for being my Lord and my Savior. Surround, with, surround me with people who can guide me and mature me and help me to be a better disciple of you. So, Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins so that I can live a life worthy of the gospel of Christ. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, if you pray that prayer, please let me know. I want to celebrate with you. I want to celebrate your new life in Jesus Christ. Never forget this day. God bless you. Peace of the Lord Jesus Christ always be with you. Amen.